Hey guys, welcome to another Top 5 Friday. No! Now I love playing video games, but I gotta admit it's not always all roses and exploding limbs. Sometimes you end up doing stuff in games you really wish you didn't have to do. With that in mind, here are the top five things I hate doing most in video games. Five. You know what sucks more than trying to keep yourself alive in the middle of an intense firefight? Trying to keep some bullet magnet of an NPC from frolicking through the enemy's line of fire. Yes, I'm talking about escort missions, because let's face it, NPCs are pretty much incapable of recognizing when they're in mortal danger. I think Natalia from GoldenEye64 comes to mind when many of us think about nightmare escort scenarios. Boy, did she just not want to live. Why do developers make us go through this nonsense? Four. Number four on the list is running into invisible walls. Call me old fashioned, but if there is not an actual physical barrier blocking me from going somewhere, then I want to be able to go over there. I don't care if it isn't in the story, if you want me to stay out of an area, then put up a wall or a bee shield or something. Actually, I'm surprised bee shields aren't more widely used in video games. Nothing would make me want to stay out of an area more than a barrier full of bees. Not the bees! Ah! Number three on the list is grinding. I really hate grinding. If I'm not high enough to do something, the only way to do it is to keep killing the same enemies over and over again until I get there. Or I want a rare item, but the only way I can get it is to repeatedly kill the same damn mobs. Looking at you, World of Warcraft. I don't want to do repetitive tasks in video games. I've had enough of that in real life. Looking at you, high school math homework. Two. Number two on the list is fetch quests. Hey, I know you want to have an awesome fight to the death with that giant dragon, but first, could you run out and get me a couple of magic gophers to put in my neighbor's garden? No, I cannot. You want to mess with your neighbor so much? Go get the stupid gophers yourself. It always bothered me that so many characters I play decide to go out of their way so often to help people. Just kill the fetch quest giver and take whatever reward they were going to give you. It's that easy. What? is lifting weights in GTA San Andreas. Yeah, I know this one's very specific, but seriously, you want my character to go to the gym? What kind of sick bastards designed this game? You actually think you're going to make me face the horrible realization that I'd rather spend time putting muscles on a digital game character instead of getting off my ass and taking my actual physical body to the gym? That's just mean. But then again, I can't be running around San Andreas looking all scrawny. I guess I have to. And the faster you shake, the more intense and challenging your workout. Think you can handle it? All right, guys, that's all for this week's list. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. 2013 was filled with so many horrible moments for the gaming industry. Now, while other sites are looking at the best of 2013, I want to focus on all the worst things. So here's my top five worst moments for the video game industry in 2013.